From LA Late News Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is the Midday Report on LA Late. It's the debut of of Holidays LA with incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2021. In this recording, we are live here in Santa Monica, California with your fourth stimulus check update as the House of Representatives passes that incredible recon. We're going to go over the passage of the recon and now the move underway for those senators to add the MSC monthly stimulus check in there on top of the existing checks that'll pay you about $15,000. We go broadly over those checks in the debut of the latest Holidays LA coming back for a new season in the time slot of noontime. Then we'll be going over the big money that is there under four, third stimulus briefly, student loan debt forgiveness for just a blink of an eye, and this stimulus. But as you know what we're all about with Holidays L8, it is about home decor. It is about food. It is about the excitement of the holiday season. And in this recording, we go over the wonders of the Italian dessert of Panettone. We'll go over what is Panettone, what does it involve, how do you eat it, what are the different types of Panettone to buy, and we'll also go over holiday decor with a tropical and nautical theme. How to use seashells to deliver holiday spirit to your holiday table. Those details are more as the 2021 season debut of Holidays LA starts right now. And here we go. The House of Representatives have passed your incredible recon, and we are off to the Senate. And the senators will add more checks in there. And in this last seven days, three senators have said they're adding in that multiple IRS stimulus check. That's on top of the $15,000 of checks there in this recon. And today at noontime, we learn of an additional $12,500 check that is front end. Third stimulus is pill paying out and student loan debt forgiveness is around the corner. Fifth stimulus heating up as well. And that's coming in January. Those details and more as we go into the exciting details first at noontime about what's going on with your stimulus. We're going to start with your stimulus rundown, a brief overview of where we are at noontime, and this is our light. Here we go. Where we are right now is the House of Representatives passed an incredible recon last week, and we're off to the Senate, but the senators vowed to add a lot of provisions to this recon, among them an MSC. It's a monthly IRS stimulus check. In the last seven days, three senators that have always told viewers this channel, they're adding it in there, said they would do it again. The IRS a stimulus check is one of many checks that could be added into this recon. And we also have word that dental vision and also lowering the eligibility age of Medicare are among the other checks that the senators vow to add in there. 
currently. The recon has about $15,000 of checks in this recon, multiple checks that amount to $15,000. But today at noontime, you learn the number may be about $37,000. Why? Because one of the checks is a front end check that we originally thought was a back end check. Wow. Let's go over the details of this incredible provisions, starting with the checks in those three clusters, the two add-ons, and the surprise of that additional $12,500 check. Here we go. There's about $15,000 of checks across this incredible recon to start, which may be $30,000, which may be $50,000, maybe $60,000 by the time the Senate's add over. But let's go over the first cluster and see that first surprise $12,500 additional check, which is on top of the $15,000 we never knew before. Has to pay God in there, the essential money for my essential workers. One more year about that. That is for the essential workers earned income tax credit. $4,000 if you care for an elderly person at home. $4,000 if you care for young children. Then the Pell Grant check, that's $550 to Pell Grant recipients. The home repairs, if you live in a low-income community, it's a free money. And then the CTC, the child tax credit, $3,600 or $3,000 for one year if the child is 17 years or younger and you're a low-income household. And then the big surprise. $12,500 checks, yes. The electric vehicle provision looked like it was a back-end check, meaning you buy the car. Then you get the tax refund after you buy it from IRS. No. Some of the analysts now say that by this time the Senate's over, it's going to be $12,500 at the time of purchase. So if you go and buy a $30,000 electric vehicle, they can take $12,500 off of it at the time of purchase. So you only pay that amount minus $12,500. Wow. The first add-on comes from Maxine Waters and it's $25,000. And this member may still go up in the Senate, but she wanted that number. It got a little less. This is for the first time home purchase, home time purchase of uh, for single family residents. It's wonderful. How do you get it? You would get it during in the escrow period when you close escrow or right before you close escrow, federal government give money to the seller on your behalf. It's incredible. The second cluster of checks has a lot of them in there. And they got in there the home repairs, weatherize your home and the paid leave. Let's go over some of those checks in that second cluster. Well, they got in that second cluster the money for the home repairs, which is weatherize your home, the paid leave, the er, the household tax credit, and pre-kindergarten. You need those uh, home repairs. These are a little bit different. These would be for all income levels, and this would be for weatherizing your home, which is big if you're in a tornado area or a fire zone. Then the second add-on comes from Bob Casey, the wonderful senator from Pennsylvania. It is free home health care for my seniors and people on disabilities. Wow. This is a covered benefit, so you won't have to pay anything for it. He went at 250 He got a little bit less. Free again for my seniors and people on disabilities, which brings us to our third cluster of checks. And that third cluster is money for my seniors and also for... Um, the free internet. So in that third cluster, they got lots of checks and it's deliciousness. Here we go. We got free school meals for all. We got cheaper prescription medication. We got money for the farmers. We got free internet. We got the independent contractors and we got the Medicare expansion. The Medicare expansion truly embodies what's going on this holiday season for Recon for stimulus. Why? Because there's two provisions that the House members got in there, and there's three that the senators are adding in there on top of that, bringing you to five. What did they get in there so far? They got in their hearing. And the Medicaid gap states. What's the Medicaid gap states? So the Medicaid gap states is cheaper Medicaid, uh, cheaper premiums to people who are low income in those Republican governor states that refuse to pay for Obamacare. 12 all out states, you'll get those monies. Then they got in their hearing aid for my Medicare recipients. But Bernie wants to drop the eligibility age of Medicare from 65 to 55. I don't think it's going to happen. He wants, uh, Bob Casey wants to 60. I think that's likely. Then he wants to get in their dental. He wants to do 10 years of benefits. Not happening. It's too expensive. He last looked at three years full benefits. I think that's possible. But um, the last time we had dental in here was $850 checks to you if you're on Medicare. That's not enough because it doesn't pay for most, most prescript, uh, procedures. It just pays for cleaning. 
And then he wants to put in vision. We've seen I Wars, we've seen Frame Wars on this channel. It's coming back today on Afternoons LA with more coverage about how to get these checks. If you're wondering about how to get these checks once it becomes law, it's coming up in, in the one o'clock and three o'clock afternoon show. But when we talk about vision, he wants an eye exam and a pair of frames per year. That would be about $150 out the door, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit more. But then, that truly embodies what we look at when we look at the MSC discussion, which stands for multiple IRS stimulus check. The senators, no less than three of them in the last seven days, said they're adding it in there. And they've always said they're adding it in there. We've had thousands of viewers being told by six senators since the month of May, every week on the week, that they're adding in a monthly stimulus check. And they've said it loud and clear, much louder and clearer than House members. What are we looking at? Well, they have said to us they want to do $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter, which would be six months of checks, and that they would do the same eligibility as a Third stimulus check. Who got a third stimulus check? Seventy-five thousand or less, a single individual. Mary couple, one hundred fifty thousand or less, double it. Family of four, quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad benefits, and adult dependents, they got a third stimulus check as well. That is why advocacy is so important. And you need to pick up the phone and call this holiday season. If it's a weekend and you're celebrating your holiday meal or celebrating a cowboy's loss, if you're Crayola, then. Uh, <laughs> then uh, if you, whatever you're celebrating this holiday season, take a little bit of time off and advocate. Pick up the phone and call those legislators and say, I need it. And guess what's new today at noontime? You're going to see this covered later today on afternoons. But what's new on noontime is that the president senses an element of urgency to get this forced stimulus done right now. And while the senators vow to add more checks on top of this, they also sense that urgency. So you need to advocate quicker rather than later. Leave that message on their voicemail over the, over the holiday weekend and say, I need it. This is why I need it. And the number one legislator, the number one of the recon, his chief of staff says, we want to hear from them. We want to hear from you. And the message says loud and clear, they now have in total between congressional and senators' offices more context of advocacy from the LA Purple Power. Everyone's amazed by the outpouring of touching stories. Now they have a better understanding of what Americans are going through this pandemic. They have heartbreaking stories. Please continue the continued encouragement as the professional voice of the people you have been until this becomes a law. The messaging that we learned today that it's breaking at noontime is that the president's approval ratings are still struggling after three wins and two fixes this week. He got the infrastructure pass. He got the recon pass in the House. And he, re he released some of the strategic oil reserves, which is petroleum, gasoline, to bring down the price of gas at the pump. But that has not resonated with Americans' wallets, as you and I predicted this from day one. They want to see the recon pass. And the new labor number released this morning showed that with the lowest unemployment numbers since the 1960s. That number blew away Wall Street's estimates this morning. They were looking at pre-pandemic levels plus a little bit higher. Remember when we started the pandemic, we had 220,000 new jobless claims. Today we come in 169, which is huge. What is also huge is the deliciousness of some panettone. <laughs> In the second half of this video, we turn to the holiday part of the holidays, L.A. You know how we do it on the holidays, L.A. A quick rundown of the latest update about stimulus in the first half of the, half of the recording. And the second half of this recording, holidays. In this recording, we're going to go over holiday meals with panettone. What is it? How do you choose it? What are the options? And how do you make and how do you can make it at home? Then we turn to doing holiday decor with a nautical theme. Those details are more coming up after the commercial break. But first, here's a little bit about the community page. I'll be back with you with the season debut of Holidays at Light. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, 
Twitter and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now from Santa Monica, California, on this live debut of Holidays LA 2021. In the second half of this recording, we're going to go to our holiday themes. And today we look at the Panettone and also a nautical theme with holiday decor. First, Panettone. You may have seen it at your local stores. You may have seen it at Ross or Marshalls or even your Macy's or May Company. And what is Panettone? It is an Italian baked dessert that has been in the Italian culture for years. It is a bread, sweet bread type dessert, and it's packaged and wrapped. Now, when you see it in the stores, how do you know which one to pick? And what are the options and how, what are the different sizings? In the United States, there's generally two sizes that are available, sizes available. The larger size, which I'm holding up right now, or the smaller panettone, the panettini. <laughs> and then to determine which type you're actually potentially buying, you actually literally look at the picture. Now, it's at that point you have to really space special, space special attention to the imagery of what is in that panettone. Here in this one, you see an image. Now, what does it look like and what does it look like it's representing? It's this chocolate panettone. Now, this is actually a very part, important part of the process of buying the panettone because while it says it's chocolate and while it says it's chocolate panettone, not all chocolate panettones are the same. And you could be on the same shelf and see two different, and they could be totally different. What are the generally different types of chocolate panettone that are out there? First, let's look at this one. In this one, it looks like they have little pieces of chocolate sporadically put around inside the panettone and then mixed with some, um, with some dates or raisins and then maybe a little bit of chocolate at the top. Good not that great. Why am I not saying that that's that great? The better type of chocolate panettone you want to look for is the one where the image will show you in the image, they are literally up and down, vertical lines of chocolate. You will literally see lines of chocolate, like a mousse line, like a mousse type of chocolate. It is deliciousness. You will literally bite into it and get a big whiff of chocolate. This is sporadic placing of chocolate bites across the panettone. Good, delicious. And a more chocolatey top, see about the top there. But the difference with the inlay or the slices of chocolate through the middle, you will see it going literally through the picture, up and down. If I bring another, if I get another one during the holiday season, I will bring it on a future episode. So that is the type of one you will look at. What are the other types of panettone out there? There's the traditional, which is just raisin. Raisin, which is great, very good for anyone who has a, uh, a low sugar diet. The raisin is very, very bland, um, very pleasant, not overwhelmingly, not too sweet. It basically tastes like a sweeter type of bread with some raisins. If you've ever had monkey bread, it's less sweet than monkey bread. Then uh, there are other types of, of panettone that are differentiated by what's on the top. These are harder to get by, and they don't necessarily cost more. They're just harder to find. Those is when they have a crusting on the top. Real, real deliciousness. The crusting can be a white crusting or a chocolate crusting or other variations. That is where you're going to see a much different, dif uh, big difference. The chocolate uh, inlay or the crusting on the top is clearly a dessert item. 
a a a just a raisin type panettone can be a snack item because it is so light and delicious. So let's open up. Let's have an opening up of some panettone right on air right here, and let's see um, what we have now. How about uh, the uh, the uh, aging of the panettone? The panettone, if you bought it in November could last you all the way to late February. Many of these panettones have very, very long shelf life. You will notice the shelf life on the bat bottom of the panettone. Most panettones now have to have a shelf life marked. So in this case, let me move it over here. It is on the bottom of the wrapper and it says, sell by 6-30-2022. So June of next year, exactly what I said. I think it's fine to February. I mean, you're not gonna leave it around that long. So. Uh, this is not a two or week, two or three week shelf life. No, it will taste as delicious then. So here is the panettone in wrap form. This is when you take it out of the box. It first comes in a plastic. Here's the corporate logo in this case. And then it has the plastic sheeting that was used during the baking process, which keeps it in stack. Now, when you when you choose the panettone and you want to cut it, you want to cut it at the top with a long serrated knife straight down so that you're cutting big pieces. So you want to cut at the top and cut straight down and then cut it in long uh, pieces. And that is the way you want to serve it and also keep it in the wrapper. The longer you keep it wrapped with the, uh, with the wrapper closed, the longer it can preserve the freshness. So, if after you open it up after the wrapper, how long will it stay? It can stay. Uh, it can stay upwards of about two weeks. Um, after two weeks, it starts to dry out. So you don't want it to dry out across the board. Why do I like panettone, and why is it a universal dessert for so many people in America right now? One price point. It's very cheap. Most panettones can start as low as $3. Um, even with inflation, uh, these are products that shipped far before the holiday season. These were items that shipped, you know, maybe in summer of this year and land in U.S. ports. So there's no supply chain issue. Two, they're widely available. Number three, um, the on the on the price point, they'll go from anywhere from three to seven. But if you're going for the super super high end, uh, then maybe it's a twelve or eleven. But where do you get it? Your Ross, your Marshalls, they absolutely have it. Do not think because you're buying at Ross or Marshalls, it's any lower in quality than a supermarket. These are packaged food items. So these are items that were packaged at another location and then brought in for distribution. So it doesn't matter where you buy it so long as the expiration date is good. That is an important thing to know. The same item, this Panettone could be uh, in a high-end department store at the $12 price point, but in a Marshalls or Ross at $3. It's as simple as that. When Making panettone, is it difficult? It's not an easy task across the board because you need a certain type of container, a certain type of baking dish, and then you need the wrapping. So when considering all the different things you have during the holiday season, making panettone versus buying, I would buy it. It's just simple. Uh, next, when bringing it as a holiday gift, everyone loves it. A lot of people don't know what it is. A lot of people for the first time uh, are surprised. People that have had it before love it. There's very there's very few anyone that would dislike a panettone because it's a very simple, delicious meal across the board. Uh, when considering what type of panettones to buy, I always recommend going for the high end. The plain raisin one is good, but it's a little bit simplistic. Then finally, how to eat it. I just eat it plain. I just eat it plain off the board. Some people like to dunk it in their coffee, dunk it in their eggnog, dunk it in their milk. What do you like to do? Jump in the live chat and tell me what type of panettone experiences you live, uh, like. I'll read some of your ex experiences on camera today, right now, live. So if you've had panettone and had a great experience, jump in the live chat and post your experiences. Coming up in a second, we're going to go over how to do holiday decor with a nautical theme as simple as some oysters, clam shells, or uh, your local seashells. What can you do with that type of theme? I have those details and more. But now, for now, post your exciting experiences about Panettone. I'll feature them after the commercial break. But have you ever wondered what it's like for a turkey to watch us eat Thanksgiving? <laughs> 
<laughs> a turkey watching us eat Thanksgiving. Let's take a look and see my impressions of what it's like when a turkey watches us eat Thanksgiving. <laughs> And there you go. During the commercial break, I saw some great comments about people's experiences with Panettone. Susan, one Susan said, I had the raisins when I love it. Another Susan said, never heard of it. Uh, one person said, if I see it, by Felicia. Oh, really? By Felicia, the Panettone? Uh, <laughs> and then a few people said, I had one, but I never had the caramel. Yes. You want to look for the more elaborate ones. And it, it's simply just keeping your eyes open. And they will be on the shelves. And they are in the shelves right now. Marshalls and Wash generally have at the front of the store, like uh, where they keep their cookies and, and packaged goods. And then the department stores sometimes are just sporadically thrown across the board. Um, I really loved your incredible comments. Someone asked, where do we get holiday meals? So a lot of the nonprofits are helping with holiday meals during the holiday season. They are Salvation Army, Community Action, Catholic Charities, and St. Vincent de Paul's. Uh, Shirley Parker says, I like dipping my panettone in the coffee. Diane N. says, I've never had the chocolate that sounds like a caramel drizzle over. It, it's a little bit more decadent than caramel, but yes, it's very, very, it's very, very decadent. It's a dark chocolate with a crusty film on the top. And then inside, it's a more moist chocolate, like uh, like a mousse flavor. Uh, go in for the go going for the high end. Julie says yes. I prefer going for the high end. Um, you know, it, the price point they you don't actually pay more that much more money for the chocolate. It's usually like a dollar, dollar fifty more across the board. Susan Beard says. Thanks, sending Thanksgiving to us, uh, hugs to everyone. Very, very kind. Um, Lauren Norica says, oh, the audio is getting a little messy. Okay, <laughs> I appreciate that. There's always something that we have across the board. So a little bit of audio ness messiness right now. Um, but the interesting thing to know about the board is that um, we're celebrating in a beautiful spirit. Now, let's turn back to the elements of when we're looking at how to do that holiday table. When we're doing that holiday table, um, what are the elements at issue that you must consider? Well, um, one of the items to consider across the board, sorry about the audio, I guess I didn't like the panettone. <laughs> is the nautical theme. I like a nautical theme when doing your holiday season. And that nautical theme starts with very basic things in the ocean. In this case, I look have what they serve the baked clams in at the supermarket. If you go to the supermarket and buy some baked clams, these are in them. And what do you do? Well, when, you've the, when you're finished with your meal, you just save them, clean them off, dust them off, and you use them. So how can you turn these into holiday decor? And how do you do it? So many things across the board. First, you can use it as a candle holder. Second, you can use it as an ornament holder. Second, you can actually use it as a, as a serving tray, uh, as a place setting for little serving trays. Next, don't look at it as sort of the upside, which is, or maybe it's the downside, uh, which is the, the rough side of the core of the oyster. Look at it as the soft side. That soft soy gives a lot of opportunities to stuff things in there, which can be little messages to people. 
Um, it can be items across the board, like uh, adding adding little knickknacks. You know, what I like with a holiday table is always giving a lot of surprises across the board. And those surprises start with uh, maybe doing something a little bit out of character. Now, what's important when thinking, thinking about things out of character is also putting in the elements that work. And the elements that work are a message, a gift, or just a knickknack to look at. And when aligning uh, items for a holiday decor, I always like to stack. So when considering doing uh, anything nautical, always build up. Start at the base and build it up so the thing grows. Start with the idea of the premise and then build it up. In this case, you can see how a lot of oysters look like a big over undertaking. Look how many I have in this bowl. Now, this is not my decor itself. That's my work in progress. But when considering the items and how we build it up, a lot of details. First, here's a little bit about the community page. I'll be back in 60 seconds with more about how to prepare for that holiday season. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And there you go. After, during that, during that commercial break, and sorry about the little bit of audio static heat today at noontime, uh, some of the people had great suggestions about what to do with the decor. Uh, one person said putting little items in there. Michael Wright says, I love a banana pudding, sweet potato pies. It sounds delicious. Sally Warner says, sending holiday blessings to everyone. And then um, the other Julie, Julie Williams says, Sally, fudge sounds really good and good to me. One person said, put little tricks, uh, little tri uh, tidbits in there. Um, you could put three little treats in there for dessert, says Diane, and I agree. Sounds absolutely wonderful. Um, those sound delicious to deliver as epicizers, says correct. Sherry says, wishing everyone a beautiful Thanksgiving from North Carolina. And then Cassandra says, praying everyone has a beautiful holidays. Have to make a run. Yes, hit those markets ahead of time. Um, and Rodney Hor Horton says, I says, happy, every hoping everyone has a beautiful Thanksgiving. Well, there you go. Uh, what we learned today when looking for panettone is that there's many different types and there's two different sizes. We have the big size of the panettone right here and the small size. We have the raisin, which is the basic, and then the high end, which is the drizzled chocolate on the top and the chocolate inlay. This is the one where it is just chocolate sporadically put in the middle. So it's sort of like a mid-range mid type of panettone. Getting the more, more elaborate panettone doesn't cost you a lot more money. They range any from, from $3 to $12 in the same store. And just upgrading to a better type of chocolate is just $1 or $2. 
Once you open it, it stays good for about two weeks. It gets a little dry after that. If you don't open it, it stays throughout the holiday season. Look on the bottom of it for the expiration date. In this case, the one I just opened is a June 2022 expiration date. So you're very good in buying it now and holding it through Christmas and then opening on New Year's, for example. The days to have it, of course, are Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's Day. It is a Christmas tradition in Italy, but it's also eaten on New Year's Day as well. So enjoy that. Also bring your holiday suggestions. If you have other holiday suggestions, bring them to me on social media, on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, private message, and I'll feature them live on air. Last year, we had a lot of people who did things like holiday wreaths. It was actually their business. So if you do holiday business items that you want to feature on this channel, send me a message, and I'll feature an image of your undercakings as well on camera. Join me next at 1 o'clock afternoons L.A. It's the latest update on your four stimulus recon. And then 3 o'clock, a brand new show taped minutes ago. Then we have a big new Evenings LA at 5 o'clock. And with that, subscribe. Like this video and consider becoming a member. Have a beautiful day and thank you for joining me. Join me tomorrow as second installment of Holidays LA kicks underway. <laughs>